number one. What is your name? My name is Jerry Pena, and I'm going to cover you in latex. Number two. What is your name? My name is Jerry Pena, and I'm going to cover you in latex. Number three. What is your name? My name is Jerry Pena, and I'm going to cover you in latex. Only one is the real Jerry Pena, and the other two are lying. The real Jerry Pena makes clothes from latex rubber. After applying liquid latex directly on your body or giving you pre-made rubber garments that will satisfy desires from the mainstream to the extreme, Jerry says taking it off is most appealing. And Jerry has sworn to tell the truth. Now let's meet our panelists. Meshach Taylor, actress, comedian, Becky Harry, comedian, and and from whose line is it anyway, Brad Sherwood. Here is the star of To Tell the Truth, John O'Hurley. All right. Talent audience, our three players here all claim to be the real Jerry Pena, who creates clothes with liquid latex. Two are lying and only one to sign a statement swearing to tell the truth. Your job will be to find out who that is. All right, let's start our questioning with Meshack Taylor. Uh, thank you, John. Uh, number one, what is, what is latex made from? Uh, latex is made from the sap of a rubber tree found in Malaysia. Okay, and uh, uh, number one, how long did it take you to make that blouse? Oh, it took about an hour to get on. The, number two, how uh, much does an outfit like the one you have on cost? About $600. 600 And uh, number three, any famous people buying your work? Uh, well, yeah, we sell it uh, all th throughout the country, so there's probably tons of people. We also work in the movie industry, so yeah. Uh, and number three, you said you do movies? We uh, supply it to the movie industry. And uh, number one, what movies would I have seen maybe some of your work in? Sorority Girls, Vampire 1, 2, and we're just coming out with number three. All right. <laughs> Jack Kane. Um, number, number two, um, could you make personalized body parts? I mean, if I asked you to make me a, a set for my back, could you, could you make <laughs> I mean, some requests? Yeah, well, we do, like, special orders, but, I mean, mostly we just ship out the... And number, number two, how long have you been doing this? For about four years. And number three, how long have you been doing this? About four years. Oh, and um, number one, um, if it gets too hot, does it melt? No, it doesn't melt. It might come a little bit off your skin with perspiration. Oh. So it might lift up a little bit. And number two, how do you take it off? You just pull it off. Just pull it off? Yeah, it comes off in one piece. One piece. Number three, do you have on latex now? Uh, yeah, I have it on my arm. Oh, uh, the outfit uh, you have on. Oh, well, number two, what do people want it for? Why? Why? It's, I mean, it's just like, it's a fashion statement. Oh, and number one, how did you get interested in this? I was playing with prosthetics. I do makeup. I'm a makeup artist, and we'd had to do uh, noses and ears, but we needed to dilute it because we were running out. So are those really your... your uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> saying it, John. So you say it. I ain't gonna ask that question. Number one, <laughs> do you need melted butter to get into that top? Uh, no. No, okay. No Number two, why would people want to wear a rubber garment? I mean, why do you want to look like a radial tire? What's up with that? Well, I mean, it's, it's like directly on your skin. I mean, it's, it's well, the so most form-fitting piece of clothing you could ever get. Okay. And number three, where did you learn to pour latex on people? Because it's liquid, so I'm assuming it must be hot. I don't remember that course in college, or I would have taken it. <laughs> uh, just sort of uh, playing around with it. It's, it's painted on, actually, not poured. Okay. Number one, what's the most bizarre request you've ever had? Uh, We're talking about the latex right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just for a man that had a lot of hair to want the shorts, tight shorts but all over, and I told him it was going to hurt when he ripped it off, but he said he would like it. I did like it. <laughs> <laughs> How much did that cost, Brad? I, uh, Nothing. I happen to have an ill-fitting Speedo that produces the same results, <laughs> I know. All right, Brad, on to you. I absolutely loved those shorts. Uh, <laughs> number two, where do you most frequently wear those outfits? 
Um, just recently up at the Folsom Street Fair in San Francisco. Number three, same question. Uh, that I've most recently worn it? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> last night. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. number, number one, did you put that shirt on yourself? Or? I had my assistant paint it on. Uh-huh. And number two, how long does a shirt like that take? Two hours. <laughs> All right. Well, the time is up. It's time now for our celebrity panel. We're locking the votes without discussion. Is it number one, number two, or number three? And at this time, I'll ask our studio audience to cast their votes as well and while everybody's voting. I'll remind you they're at home with your jaws all dropped down. <laughs> We're going to pay our team of challengers $1,000 for every incorrect vote. All right, votes are in. Meshack begins. Sir, for whom did you vote? Uh, well, thank you, John. This is uh, quite interesting. I don't know uh, uh, if I could actually pull off something like a latex uh, outfit. You but... can pull it off if you bought her dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, uh, if there's anybody up there that, that I really enjoy seeing it in this particular fabric, it just would have to be number one. Jackie? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I like I like the way she looks, actually. And, and number three, he looks great, too. I love those pants. I thought they were latex. I was like, give me some of those. But you know what? Number two looks like that guy that was in that movie, Halloween one, the first one. And I like him. He's turning me on. <laughs> number two. All right. Aunt would like to change seats. So yeah, I was scared. <laughs> um, I didn't vote for number one because... Um, you're perfect. Um, I didn't vote for number two because you're just really um, too comfortable with that whole latex thing. Like, you've been in that phase years ago. You're on to dungeons and stuff like that. <laughs> so I voted for number three because he looks least likely. All right. Brad Sherwood. Uh, I just love number one. <laughs> Has nothing to do with what I'm voting for. I just wanted to say that on national TV. Uh... But I think one of the other ones probably put that outfit on her. And uh, I just think that number two looks like the freak who walks around in latex all day long. <laughs> all right. Yeah, everybody got a vote up there. Let's see how our audience voted. No surprise there. Number one gets the nod. We're going to be right back and find out who's right, who's wrong. And who the real latex clothier is right here on To Tell the Truth. <laughs> Welcome back to To Tell the Truth. One of our challengers is the real Jerry Pena, who creates clothing with liquid latex. Believe it or not, the other two are lying. Recapping the votes. A pair of votes for number one, a pair of votes for number two, a single vote for number three. Who's right? Well, it's time to find out which one of our players is the real Latex clothier, will a real Jerry Pena please stand up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Have a seat. We'll come back to you. All right. Let's meet our team of imposters right now. Uh, now, number one, who are you and what do you do? I'm really an aerobic instructor and I'm in school training to be a nurse. And your name? Oh, Lori Morsey. Nice to have you with us. <laughs> you added a lot of beauty and style to this story. Yeah. And, uh, and number two, they said that uh, you live on the other side of the day. Who are you and what do you do? <laughs> My name's Sam Stefanski, and I work at a coffee house. <laughs> nice to have you with us. All right. Now, this is not, now, you actually, I want to hold this up here. You actually sell a product. In, in addition to actually doing the service, you actually sell a product? That well, we, I, I actually own the company that manufactures the product, uh -huh. and we sell it to stores uh, that sell it uh, nationwide. There it is right there. It's called Liquid Latex. Now, how much would this cover? Uh, that would do about a half a body in the recommended three coats. Isn't that something? Well, thank you so much. What a fun story, and uh, I, I just may try this out. <laughs> I won't paint you, though. Imagine so. anything more awful than me and some of this. I don't, nobody with your, with wants... your chest hair, it would look like a mohair sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us. What a lot of fun. We have four incorrect votes, $4,000 to be split among the three of you. Battle. It is time to meet our next three challengers.